Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to Good evening. see you. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you today. Good evening, everyone. Now I see new faces here. We're going to start with, let me see. Oh, we have a lot of people already. Very good, very good. Now, we're going to start with the class. It's 8 p.m., right? It's 8 of 1, so we're going to start with the people we have for the class. And let me start with my introduction. Just give me one second. Okay, so I will switch a little bit to Spanish right now. Right? After that, the class is going to be in English. Hi, Sandra. Now, let me show you here. Can you see my computer? Can you see my computer? Hi. Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, Comenzamos hoy, primero de marzo, con el nivel número dos de los de National English for Work Program, Beginner Level, Module 2. My name is Silvia Ramos, right, and I'm going to be with you uh, during this module. Right? Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Ya conozco algunas caritas aquí desde el módulo anterior, pero veo otras caritas nuevas. Entonces, cualquier pregunta que tengan, porque así por muy uh, pequeña que suene para ustedes, o muy repetitiva, no importa, hagan la pregunta. Eh, vamos a seguir trabajando, si no entendemos, hasta que podamos entender todos, vamos a continuar, ¿ok? Entonces, cualquier pregunta que ustedes tengan, háganla sin ningún problema. Recuérdense que estos módulos, aunque son módulos principiantes de inglés, Siempre vamos a ver lenguaje un poco técnico. Mi recomendación es que siempre tengan un diccionario a la mano, por lo menos, aunque sea un diccionario digital, para que les vaya ayudando un poco. No un traductor, sino que un diccionario, o pueden también utilizar eh, diccionarios. Hay diccionarios de imágenes que pueden buscar en online, que les pueden servir también, para que ustedes vayan trabajando eh, conmigo y no nos vayamos perdiendo. Sin embargo, si ustedes tienen preguntas del vocabulario, no tengan miedo de preguntar. Yo aquí estoy para ayudarles. O no entienden algo de gramática, o no, te, no entienden qué se va a hacer. Please ask. ¿Ok? Pregunten sin ningún problema. Vamos a, a continuar. Hay cosas que debemos recordar del programa de Insafor, que es un programa que es, eh, es un programa de becas que nos están otorgando, entonces hay ciertos requisitos que debemos cumplir siempre. Les muestro acá un poquito. Insa for requirements. Pues, algo primero que tenemos que tomar siempre en cuenta es que debemos poner nuestro nombre completo para acceder a Zoom Pro. O sea, cuando accedemos a la plataforma de Zoom, ustedes tienen que poner su nombre completo tal como lo proporcionaron al momento de eh, entrar al programa. A veces, si yo veo que su nombre no está completo, entonces yo se lo voy a cambiar por ahí la primera semana para que se vayan acostumbrando. Pero ya luego hay que siempre estar pendientes de poner su nombre completo cuando entramos a la plataforma. También, otro requisito para los que ya estuvieran en el módulo 1, eh, siempre hay que mantener la cámara encendida en todo momento, ¿verdad? Aunque usted se vaya a levantar o esté conmigo, yo sé que hay muchos que van llegando de su trabajo en estos momentos y que dice, apenas vengo, necesito comer, usted puede comer, no hay ningún problema, yo sé que está poniendo atención, usted coma, pero manténgase siempre pendiente de la clase, si lo veo comiendo tal vez no le pregunte, ¿verdad? Pero eh, para que usted esté atento y si surge alguna duda, la pregunta sin ningún problema. La asistencia se tomará tres veces durante la jornada, Vamos a tomar la asistencia, deberíamos tomar la asistencia a las 9, pero para que estemos todos completos, lo vamos a tomar a las 9 y 10. 
luego a las, a, perdón, a las 8 y 10, luego a las 9 de la noche y luego al final de la clase, que sería a las 10 de la noche. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? No, teacher, ¿No? solo una, un gusto saber que usted, vamos a seguir con usted. Gracias, Angie. Me da Gracias. mucha alegría y que vamos, ya nos conocemos y ya, ya, ya nos acostumbramos a usted y nos, a, a mí en lo particular me encanta como la clase. Así que es un gusto volver a verla. Gracias, Angie. Un gusto también volverla a ver. Bueno, volverla a ver a todos acá. Así es, a todos los compañeros ahí que sé que estamos todos. Perfecto. Igual, teacher. Perfecto. Entonces, gracias, Azalia. Ahora vamos a comenzar acá con, eh, con la clase. La clase vamos a tratarla de dar lo más que se pueda en inglés. Si sí, ya ah, veo que es un imperativo que nosotros eh, comencemos en español, pues lo vamos a hacer en español, pero eso va a ser como, digamos, casos extremos, así, de extremos extremos, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿alguna pregunta antes de comenzar? ¿No hay preguntas? ¿Seguimos? ¿Todo bien? No, 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 todo bien. No, todo bien. Ok, very good. So, first things first, I'm going to call the attendance right now. Voy a pasar la asistencia en estos momentos. Se lo permitan un segundo acá. Before we start with the attendance. Ya vemos varios, ya se puede. Please keep your cameras on. Let me share it here with you. We have 17 people. Okay. One second. Okay. I'm going to call the attendance now. Uh, let's just start with the... Oh, Jesus. I can see the name. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Ana Gabriela. No, ok. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Thank you. Sale a Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Hi. Carmen Lizeth Hi. Hernández Escobar. Present. Nice to meet you, Carmen. Nice to meet you. Let's continue with Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Nice to meet you, Celia. Let's continue here with Daniel Amilcar Sandoval Avilés. Present. Nice to meet you, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present, teacher. Hi, Emerson. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. Presente. Thank you. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Mr. Palma, hi. Hi, teacher. Present. Present. Very good. Juan Josué Hernández. Juan José dice que. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana okay. Sorto Cuadra. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Leida. Ha venido. Luis, Armo, Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present teacher. Nice to meet you, Luis Armando. María, you. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present teacher. Hi, nice to meet you, María. Nice to meet you too. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Pedrina. Present teacher. Present Ay, teacher. Pedrina. Present. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Hi, Ricardo. We have Hi. another Ricardo. Ricardo Gabriel. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Ricardo 1 y Ricardo 2. Roxana Yanira Mengíbar Escobar. Roxana Yanira. Present Hi, teacher. Hi. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. 
Hi, Sandrita. And Jennifer Abidail Lopez. Jennifer, hi. The microphone, yes. It's a microphone. Okay. So let's start right now with the class, right? We're going to start with model two, like I said to you before. And well, we are going to start with unit one, of course. Let me show you my computer one more time. And in unit one, it says unit one, work-related events. Work-related event. Competences that we're going to develop. Describe <coughs> regular activities in the workplace. Describe every day, Jesus, everyday situations. Number three, identify requests for specific personal information. Number four, talk about financial information and work perks. And number five, scan specific information fields in an informative document. That's what we're going to do today. Well, this week, this is for the semana one. This is for week number one, okay? Now, we're going to uh, do today video conferencia numero uno, simple present statements. Simple present <coughs> statements. And we start with one thing. Primero, yo quiero ver esto. Let's practice what we learn about model one. If we have simple questions in module one that we're going to practice, right? Uh, and we're going to read these questions right now. Please, Josue, read these questions. Okay. What is your nickname? What is your nickname? Very good. Maria Concepcion, read this question. What is your nickname? Okay, the second question, this one. The second, what is your favorite color? Very good, Mr. Palma. What is? What is your nationality? I am. Nas what is your nationality? What is your nationality? <laughs> Very good. I am. Okay, I am Salvadoran, for example. Sandra, next question. Do you? Do you have brother or sister? Do you have brother or sister? Very good. Next question here, Angela. Are you a student? Are you student? Very good. Let's continue here, Asalia. What do you do? What? What do you do in your workplace every day? Very good job. Let's see, Roxana. Let's read. Hey, where are you from? Where are you from? Luis Ventura. What's your cell phone number? Okay, what's your cell phone number or telephone number? Very good. Emerson? What is your address? What is your address? Daniela Milka? Please repeat, Daniel. Your microphone is off. Se apagó su micrófono. No lo escuchamos. Okay. Well, let's continue. Celia has me. How old are you? How old are you? Very good. And the last one, Pedrina. What is your name? What is your name? Very good. These are the questions that we're going to ask. For example, if I ask you directly these questions, let's see, what is your favorite color, Josue? 
<clears throat> My favorite color is blue. Very good. What is your nationality, Mr. Palma? I am Salvadorian. I am Salvadoran. Very good. Do you have brother or sister, Celia? I have brother. I have brother, okay. You can say I have one brother or two brothers or three brothers. How many do you have, one? I have one brother. I have one brother, very good. How old are you, Daniela Milton? How old are you? I don't know. I am? I don't know. You don't know how old you are. Okay, listen, Daniel. How old are you, Emerson? I'm fine, thanks. Mm, how old? How old are you? For example, I am 35 years old. How old are you, Emerson? I am 24. Okay, I am 24 years old. How old are you, Amilcar? ¿Cuántos años tiene, Amilcar? Twenty, twenty, twenty-six. Twenty-six. I am twenty-six 26. years old. I am. I am twenty-six years old. Okay, very good. What's your telephone number, uh, Asalia? I am number telephone. No, I am. What's your telephone number? I am. My telephone number. Uh, my telephone number is uh, seven two two three five five four one. Okay, very good. Three three five. Okay, my telephone number is five 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 seven seven seven. Right, and you can get very good. Where are you from, Mr. Palma? Mr. Palma, where are you from? I'm from San Sonate. Very good. I am from San Sonate. What do you do in your workplace every day? Josue. Um, what do you do in your workplace? I... Okay, report. Okay, I create reports. Very good. I create reports. What else? The sales. I, the okay. Venta. I create, okay, I create sales reports. Okay, sales I create report. sales reports. What else? ¿Qué más? I supervisor. I supervise. I, I supervise, supervise the personnel, for example. Okay. The personnel. Two activities, that's okay. Uh, are you a student? Are you a student, um, Roxana? No, I am not. You're not? I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. I work. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I am a psychologist. A psychologist? Yes, I am. Okay, very good. I am a psychologist. Very good. I am a psychologist. Very good job. Right? Mm -hmm. So we have there, 
Okay? Different questions. What is your nickname? My nickname is, my nickname is Mary. Right? My nickname is Mary. Tu nombre chiquito. My nickname is Rox. My nickname, I don't know what your nickname is. What's your nickname, Josue? What is your nickname? My nickname is Juanjo. Juanjo, okay. My nickname is Juanjo. Very good. Now, right now, what we're going to do is that we are going to practice this question, okay? We're going to practice these questions with everyone else. Porque no se conocen algunos. So we're in, we need to practice the questions for module one. Esas son las preguntas que vimos en el módulo one, right? So please take a screenshot of the questions. They tomen un screenshot de las preguntas. Tomen una captura de pantalla, por favor. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, now, yes, Santos, are you ready? Yes? Okay. Yes, we are ready. Okay, very good. Now, you're going to be placed in breakup rooms right now with four participants. You are going to ask each other the questions, right? Van a hacerse las preguntas que van a ver acá eh, pertinentes. Vamos a ver acá en el primero. I'm going to put three people here. Teacher, I'm sorry. Yes. Can you uh, repeat the last screen? Yes. Oh, we are. This is, it is not my computer, so uh, I can take it. Usted quiere la, 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 la pantalla? Yeah, the, the question. Okay. Let me show you here. Take a screenshot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Ready? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me put you in rooms right now. Okay. Give me one second. Here, and here. Okay, you are going to receive the invitation right now to access the room, right? So please click on access right now and we're going to be there for five minutes. Ask the questions to each other. Se van a preguntar las preguntas, valga la redundancia. Entre todos, vamos, 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 let's go. Let's go to the room. Let's go to the room right now. Let us go, let us go. Okay, Luis, please select the group, Luis. Selección el grupo ahí. Los recibió. Hola. Recibió la invitación para unirse al grupo. Sí, sí, ya lo hice. 
ओके ओके एम डू यू हैव ब्रदर और सिस्टर एंजी एक्सक्यूज मी डू यू हैव ब्रदर और सिस्टर um 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 yes yes i have brother or sister hello yes i can hear you okay um how are you Uh, hello. How old are you? Okay. Um, vamos por. Excuse me, Carmencita, me pregunta. I'm sorry, I didn't ask you in order, but okay. I think... No, le puede preguntar cualquiera, no importa. Ah, okay. Okay. Daniel. What is your telephone number? My name, my number, my non telephone is um seven one five two um six six seven four. Daniel and Juan Jose, can you hear us? Josué, Daniel. Excuse, excuse me. ¿Me escucha? Porque ella le estuvo preguntando. ¿Me escucha? Repeat. Okay, Daniel. Um, where are you from? No comprendí mucho. Eh, es como decir su nombre, pero en versión corta, ya me mola. Si se llama María, usted okay, okay. se llama Mari, por decirlo así. Ok. Eh, ¿O cómo le dice? ¿De cariño en su casa, por decir algo, en el trabajo? <risa> Sería, eh, I am, eh, Alex. Ok. okay. What is your okay. favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Purple. Okay. My favorite color is orange. Favorite. Repeat. Favorite. Fa favorite. Repeat. Favorite. 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 Excellent. Okay. Excellent. My favorite color uh, is uh, blue. Okay. Okay. Hola Luis, ¿cómo estamos? ¿Qué tal? Good. Luis, ¿me escuchas Luis? Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo estamos aquí? Bien, bien. Okay, question, what are your name? My name is Luis Ventura. What is your nick, nickname? Armando. Armando. What is your favorite color? Uh, uh, candy paint. Okay. What is your national? What is your nationality? I'm Salvadorian. What do you have brothers or sister? Sister, two sister. Two sister. Are you a student? Hola. 
Hola Luis. No te escuché. Are you a student? No sé. Hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Are you a student? Uh, I have a, a two, two brother and one sister. Are you a student? No, I am not. How old are you? Um, I am uh, 40, 46 years old. What you what is what is your address? My address is um, in Planet de Rendel. What estamos cerquita? What you telephone number? My my telephone number is uh, seven seven three uh, nine nine six oh. O three, five, six. Where are you from? I am from San Salvador. What do you do in your workplace every day? Mm, I am preparing reports. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Now, we're going to continue here and I want to listen to some of you, right? I would like to listen to Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Can you please ask some of the questions, Carmen, to Josue? Uh, your microphone, your microphone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, very well. Okay. Uh, what do you do in your workplace every day? Uh, I am a sales report, a supervisor, the person, and check reports. Very well, very well. Josue, can you ask Angie? Thank you, Carmen. Okay. Angie. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Pink, very good, Angie. Angie, can you please ask Roxana? Roxana, um, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Okay. Me too. <laughs> okay, very good. Roxana, ask one of the questions to Amilcar. Amilcar, are you a student? Can you hear me? Are you there? <laughs> yes, English. Okay, are you a student? Do you understand or can I change the question? Now, are you a student, Daniel? Your microphone, Daniel. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes, okay, very good. Daniel, ask, thank you, Roxana. Yeah, uh, Daniel, You're ask welcome. a question to Ricardo. How are you? Ricardo, your microphone. Repeat, please. How are you? No, no, se, no se comprende. 
How old are you? For example, ah. I am 35 years old. La uh edad -huh. de Es J, uh, I am J, 23 years I am 33 years old. Okay, very good. Ricardo, yes. ask a question to Mr. Palma. Um, um, old, old, yes, old. Okay, repeat with me, Ricardo. How old are you? Uh, repeat. Repita después de mí. How old yes. are you? Four old. Yes. Are you? Old. Mm -hmm. Repeat with me. How old are you? Four old are you? Very good. Very good, Ricardo. Mr. Palma, how old yes. are you? Thank uh -huh. you, Ricardo. Hi, Ricardo. I am. 28 years old. Very good, Mr. Palma. Ask one question to Maria Concepcion. Maria Concepcion. Favorite color. Uh -huh. Ask the question. What is your favorite color? Ana Concepcion, ¿verdad? Sí, si, Ana Mía María. Ah, Maria Concepcion. Maria Concepcion, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Red, very good. And Concepcion, to finish, ask a question to Asalia. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good, very good. Now, we're going to continue here. That's just to start. Recuerden, esas son preguntas del nivel 1. Eso no significa que no lo vamos a seguir practicando, okay? So, we have a first. First role play that we're going to practice. We have Sofia and we have Mario. It says here the instruction. Asalia, read the instruction, please. Listen to your teacher. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, the practice, practice with white a partner. Very good, very good. Then practice with a partner. So listen to me, listen to me, okay? This is Sophia, what do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email. And I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it's very important. Okay, one more time. Let's practice here and let's listen again, okay? Listen to me carefully because I will ask you to participate with me, okay? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Now, I would like to listen to Sophia. Sofia is going to be you, uh, Maria. And Mario is going to be you, Roxana. Okay, so let's start. Okay. 
Maria, your microphone. Okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? Sophia? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also help to organize a meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Actually, I, yes, actually, I check it once or twice a day. Great. It is important. Very good. Now, repeat with me, uh, Maria. Great. Great. But like this, great. Great. Exacto. Great es algo que se hace con excitement. Usted no puede decir, estoy bien feliz. <laughs> estoy bien feliz, right? You say, great. It's very important, right? Remember, remember, I always going to say this. English is like jazz, right? English is like music. It goes up and down, up and down all the time, right? We cannot speak English like we speak Spanish, right? Sí, está bien. Chivo, todo tranquilo. Así hablamos español, ¿verdad? In English is great. That's very important, right? Now I want to listen to Carmen and I want to listen to Luis. Carmen, you are Mario. Luis, you are Sofia. Luis Ventura. Hola. You are Sofia. Okay. What do you, what about, what about do you every Monday? Okay, one more morning? time. No, one more time. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? I check my mail and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report. Um, after a meeting, I also I have to organize meeting every two Monday. I how often do you check your MI? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it once or twice a day. Great, it's very important. It's very important, very good, very good. Now, with this conversation, thank you for your participation. I want you to pay attention to the following, okay? And look what I'm going to underline here. Check my email. Call clients. Read a weekly report. Attend a meeting. Organize meeting. What are those? Those are activities that we can do in our workplace. What are other activities that you do? For example, in my case, every Monday morning, I teach spelling and vocabulary. In my case, right? Esa es una actividad mía, right? That would be mine. Teach spelling and vocabulary. Every Monday morning. Also, I check parents, parents' emails, right? Reviso los, los uh, emails de los padres de familia, right? Have a meeting with the English coordinator. This happens every Monday, right? These are my activities. 
what are your activities? What do you do every Monday, every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? Let's think about what you do every Monday morning. We're talking about Monday morning, Monday morning. What do you do every Monday morning? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hacen todos los lunes en la mañana? What do you do every Monday morning? Teacher, in my case, I check my emails every Monday morning, every, mor every Monday morning. Okay, very good. I check my email every Monday morning. Very good, Carmen. Very good. What else do you do? Celia, what do you do every Monday morning? Roxana, Angie, Palma, Josue, what do you do every Monday morning? I get up, I take a shower, and I, I have my breakfast. My breakfast okay. I, I drive my motorcycle. Nice, okay. Look how many activities, a lot of activities on a Monday morning. Very good, Mr. Palma. Roxana, what do you do every Monday morning? Thank you, Mr. Palma. Okay. Every Monday morning, I check my email. I check my calendar to see kids because I work with teenagers. And then uh, I work with them. After that, I type the report in my computer. And I, I have to I have to send like a carpet. After that, I eat lunch, and then I continue to work with teenagers. And sometimes I have meeting with them. Oh my God! Uh -huh. <laughs> many things to do. <laughs> many things. Okay, very good. When you say carpet, would that be a folder? Or a portfolio. Something like that. Uh -huh. yeah. Something it's going, like that. It's going yeah. to be portfolio or folder. Yeah, it's something like that. Very good. Very yeah, good. I have to keep in the folders, the papers. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Rosanna. Thank you. What else? What else do you do every Monday morning? Uh, Emerson, what do you do every Monday morning? In your work, in your workplace, tell me, what do you do? Um, every Monday morning, process production data, the production, uh -huh. uh, prepare daily stuff, activity report. Okay, and... very good. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> Only okay perfect that's perfect very good excellent job now what are we going to do please pay attention to the following give me one second we are going to look at the conversation this conversation is on your model book let me ask you this i will ask this in spanish todos tienen acceso a su libro de módulo El ¿Sí? mismo, teacher. El mismo. Eh, el mismo del, seguir ocupando. No, el módulo 2 tienen que tener. No lo tienen aún. No. Yes, yes, teacher. No. Eh, no lo he visto. No lo voy, yes. lo voy a pegar en estos momentos en el, eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp que crearon. Eh, ok. Deme un segundo para que ahí lo puedan descargar porque lo vamos a utilizar. Ok. Give me a moment. Ahí está el student's manual. Así dice. El student's manual. Give me a moment. Está cargando, está cargando. Ok. Lo puede. Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí. Yes. 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 Is yes. everyone in the WhatsApp yes, group? Teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Teacher. Perfect. I don't know, teacher, in the case, because I'm new. Oh. Agregaron un grupo de WhatsApp que dice G12C. No sé si está ahí. 
Hoy en la noche vi que agregaron más. Let me see. I just sent the book. Mire, si los que no lo tienen, todos van a recibir este. Permítanme un segundo. Van a recibir este, este, de este grupo es, mire. Dice G12. G12, P202, bla, bla, bla. En ese. Y acá, ya recibieron acá el, el, el libro. ¿Ok? Ok, perfect, perfect. So now, what are we going to do? In that book, ¿todos lo tienen ya? Lo pueden, sí, recuerden, sí. lo pueden imprimir, lo pueden tener digital, como ustedes quieran. Creo que impreso les resulta mejor. Sí. Y está disponible también en, el, en la plataforma de inglés corporativo. De eso vamos a hablar unos 10 minutos antes de irnos. So, en la so, plataforma, teacher, solo llega hasta la unidad 3. Ah, pues para ella se la envía todo. Ya, no se <risa> ya, ya la tiene todo. Entonces, en este libro, lo que vamos a usar hoy es en Unit 1. Please open Unit 1. Unit 1. Yes, we we'll go to yes. Unit 1. And in unit one, please go to page number, let me see, number nine. Go to page nine. Nine? Yes. On page nine, you will see the conversation, right? Yes. Very good. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Now that you see the conversation on page nine, it's the same conversation, right? We're going to practice here with this question, right? We're going to do question number one and number two. Question number one, Asalia, can you please read question number one? What activities? Asalia, can you please read question number one? Lea la pregunta, por favor. We cannot hear you, Asalia. Marion and Sofia do on Mondays. Very good. And question number two. Please read question number two, Celia. Do you consider? Teacher. Yes. Eh, Celia, Celia Yasmin, o porque creo que hay dos Celia. No, usted es Celia y ella es Azalia. Ok, perdón. <ríe> Te voy a decir Jasmine, entonces. Jasmine, read question number two. Do you consider that it's important to check your email every day? Every day? Why? Why? Very good. So, we are going to, right now, we're going to answer these questions. We're going to work in pairs right now. But also, I want you to think about your activities. What do you do every Monday morning, right? So, look at what, you, what we're going to do, and I need you to pay attention. Okay, we have number one, number two, and I'm going to put you right now with number three, okay? Number three. Right. Three activities that you do every Monday morning. Okay? That's what you're what? going to do. You're going to write three activities that you do every Monday morning. Ya dimos ejemplo, right? For example, I teach spelling and vocabulary. I check the parents' email. And... I have a meeting with the English coordinator. That's my job. Right. What about you? Now, please copy the question or take a screenshot. And we're going to go right now to the breakout rooms for five minutes. Solamente cinco minutos, right? To answer this question, right? ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar? Do you understand what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Okay. Do you have the question number three? ¿Ya copiaron la pregunta número tres? Yes. yes. Ok, very good. 
So let's see. Yes? I don't have the notebook. The book, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send you right now in the chat my phone number. Okay. Escríbame ahorita el WhatsApp y yo se lo envío. Ahí está. So I'm gonna put you to work in pairs. Okay, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Okay. Okay, we're gonna work in pairs right now. So let's go. And let's see what we're gonna do right now. Let's go, let's go. You are in pairs right now, select your groups. Select your groups for five minutes only. A las nueve y dos regresamos. We're going to be back at 902. Let's go. Hello, Angela, Luis, Roxana, Glenda, Jennifer, Daniel, select your groups. Yes, teacher, uh, estoy trabajando con Daniel. Okay. Pero Luis tiene que seleccionar su grupo para irse al grupo. Jennifer, usted también. Porque Luis, usted, usted va en otro grupo, no va con Daniel, va con Glenda. Ah, con Glenda. Sí, ahí selecciona su grupo, por favor. ¿A dónde se hace eso? Ya le envié el mensaje, no le cayó el mensajito. Sí, claro. Abidail, Abidail Escoto, Abidail. ¿A dónde es fichar que el lo del grupo que no, no, no encuentro? No lo encontró. No. Vale, lo voy a unir con Ricardo, ¿ok? okay. Acá, permítame. El número 5. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga, you're so late. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Tuve un problema con mi carro. Ah. Tengo dos Ricardo, Ricardo. Así que you're going to be Ricardo mm. one and the other one Ricardo two. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push you to work with another person. Estamos en la página 8 del libro, la conversación y las preguntas. Okay? Conversation and questions. I'm going to push you to work with Carmen. She speaks very nice. Okay? Give me a moment so you can practice. Go. Bye, Ricardo. Hello, Wilders. Ricardo is going to be working with you. Ah, okay. Yes. Ricardo, do you have the book? Eh, ahorita lo estoy viendo por internet, teacher. Ah, okay, chivo. So, uh, Ricardo is going to be working with you with the conversation. You can practice the conversation with him and the questions. 
Okay? Okay. okay. We got you. It. See you in a moment. Okay. 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 Let's continue. Um, in... Good evening, girls. And... Hello. Do you have questions, beautiful people? And no, many parts no. No, no. no. Aquí les. <laughs> Pedrina, do you have questions? No, estamos a la pregunta no, vamos a contestar ahorita. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Glenda, did you access the book? Yes. Okay, do you have questions, Glenda? Yes, ya lo tengo ahorita. Eh, no, ahorita no. <laughs> okay. Se puede encender su cámara, Glenda, hoy para después, porque no la van a pedir. Me dijeron que, que esta semana podía tenerla apagada por una situación que yo tenía y que le iban a informar a, a, a la persona ah. que está dando la clase. Ajá. Sí, debe. Yo soy esa persona y no me han dicho. <risa> Como me dijeron que era un muchacho. Era un muchacho. Pero yo soy muchacha. Ok, no se preocupe, Glenda. Muchas gracias. Ok. Me dijeron que esta semana que ya la otra ya puedo comenzar normal. Ok, ok, no hay problema. Muchas gracias por informarme hoy. Pero no pensé que ya sabía, pero no dije antes. No se preocupe. Okay, I will go to another room if you don't have questions, okay? Okay. Teacher. See you in a moment. Teacher. What's up? Yeah. Fíjese que la moleste. Molesteme, no hay problema. <laughs> Fíjese que me olvidé descargar el, el, el libro. Ah. No lo tengo en la mano. Pero le envié el WhatsApp, no lo tiene en el WhatsApp. Es que ahorita me acabo de, me, me acabo de venir al WhatsApp. Al ah, ok. Ajá. Ah, okay. Ahorita. A ver, ¿ustedes creen que puso 7882 o 7899? 99. 7899, 7399. Que no lo guardo porque si no se me hace un montón de contacto. Sí, sí, eso. Sí, igual. <risa> Ahí lo, lo tengo, sí. Aquí está, Mr. Palma, ya lo hallé. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, así que, este es bueno. ¿Ya lo recibió? Ya le cayó. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a dar de compartir un, un ratito. Ok. Sí, ahorita, aquí me acaba de caer. Okay, I will give you one more minute, ok? One more minute to finish. Yeah. Un minuto más sí. para que termine. Eh, lo que estaba hablando. Me estaba diciendo Daniel que. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llama? Que como él no estuvo en la, en el anterior, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que yo le estaba explicando que íbamos a, ver, que íbamos a responder esa pregunta con lo mismo del libro. Con lo mismo del libro, sí. Con la misma. Ah, bueno. Con la ah. misma, exacto. Con la misma conversación. Contestamos la pregunta uh -huh. uno. La pregunta dos dice, uh -huh. do you consider, póngame la like de mejor, do you consider that it's important to check your email every day? ¿Usted considera que es importante verificar o revisar su correo electrónico todos los días? I, I consider, yes, it's important. Uh -huh. I do. What about you? Do you uh -huh. consider that it's important to check your email every day? Yes. Yes, okay. Eh, Why? Consider, eh, ¿Por qué? Para ser pendiente de los... ¿no? Okay. To, de los okay. clientes. To pay attention to my clients. Very good. To pay attention to my clients. Escriba. To pay attention to my clients. Why? Eh. To pay attention. To pay, P-A-Y. P-A-A-A-A-A-T-I-O-N. 
A, P, P de patata, P as in potato, mm -hmm. A as in apple, mm -hmm. Y as in yellow. Mm -hmm. Hey, very good. To pay okay. attention to my client. Attention, A, T, T. No. A. T. Okay. Ahí va bien. A. T. T. E. E. Ese es high. E. N. T. A. T. I. 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 O. O. N. To pay attention. To pay attention to my clients. To clients. Uh -huh. Clients. C. L. I. 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 Uh -huh. I, <laughs> e, mm -hmm. e, 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 N, T, S. Very good. Okay. Es, lo va a mandar al módulo 1 solo para un relevo de Solo eso lo va a mandar. No, pero... okay. me equivoco. <laughs> ya me di cuenta. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. Porque ya es hora, okay. ya es Lora. Let's go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to practice here, but first I am going to call the attendance one more time. I am going to call the attendance. Yes, I'm installed and already is getting the mover. Yes, you're sure. Por favor, encienda sus camaritas. Vamos con la asistencia. Ana Gabriela, Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Sí, presente, teacher. Hi. Azalea Melanie Guardado Portillo. Presente, teacher. Carmen Lizeth Hernández Escobar. Teacher. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present teacher. Daniela Milcar Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. Present. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present teacher. Juan José Hernández Hernández. I'm here. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. María Concepción Cicerón Jové. Present teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Gabriel Barenga Ventura. Here. Roxana Janira Menjibar Escobar. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Presente teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Okay. Hi. So let's continue working here with this activity, okay? Now, in the question number one, we have there, oops, 9-11, Jesus Christ. Question number one, what activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Tell me one activity, Sandra Gladys. Um, I 
activities uh, check my Emmy call clients. One. Read. One, One activity that Mario and Sofia do on Mondays. One activity. Uh, check my email. Okay. They check their email. Okay. Very good. Uh, call client. Only one. Only one. Okay. Okay. The, okay. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo Fuentes. Tell me another activity. Sandra said check email. Tell me another one. Um, okay. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Please. What activities do Mario and Sofia do on Monday? Tell me one activity. Uh, um, uh, I call a... Uh, clients. Four clients. Very good. Four, Four clients. Four clients. Very good. Maria. Teacher, Tell no, me another activity. Teacher, no, no, no sé. Se... ¿Sí, Ricardo? No se, acti no se activa eh, la cámara, fíjese, no sé por qué, pero acá estoy. Ok, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ricardo. Uh, let's see. Eh, María, tell me another activity. Uh, read a weekly report. Read a weekly report. Very good. Pedrina, tell me another activity. Okay. Sofía, dijo, ¿verdad? Sofía o Mario. Vaya, eh, Sofía, Juan, read a weekly report. She reads a weekly report. She reads a weekly report. Very good. Eh, do you consider, question number two, do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? Why? Ricardo? Ricardo Gabriel? Repeat again, please. Yes. Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day? And why? Yes, it's very important because I update information. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay, yes, it is very important because I can update information. Okay, information, very good. Carmen. Do you consider that it's important to check your email every day and why? Tracking all activities with your co-partners or with your providers, you can make, or you can appoint another meeting with another people too. Okay, yes, okay, because you can set up another meeting, okay? Set up another meeting. And what else do you say? Yeah, because you can make it tracking. You can make tracking. You can make tracking of all your activities. You can track all your activities. Very good. You can track all your activities. That is correct. Very good. Josue, do you consider that it's important to check your email every day? Yes. Why? Uh, it's important to up, update indicator. To update? Indicator. Indicator, like this. What do you want to say in, in, in English? Tell me in Spanish. Para actualizar el que, o para mantener al día que. Indicadores. To update, okay, okay. In this case, we can say 
that. Okay, very good. What else? Who has another question? Another one? No? Okay. What about the activities that you do every Monday morning? What are the activities that you do every Monday morning? Roxana, tell me your activities. I cook my breakfast and then I eat. After that, uh, I read my emails. Uh, so answer the emails too. And then I work with the teenagers. Okay, very good, very good. Now in, in uh, email, email lingua, we're going to say, I reply. I reply to email. I reply. Reply, look You're at the right. chat, yeah. look at the chat, reply. Sandra, tell reply. me, yes, reply. What are the activities that you do every Monday morning? We're doing right now this exercise. On Mondays, I, what are the activities that you do on a Monday morning, Sandra? Okay, let's think, let's think. Uh, let's see, Asalia, what do you do on a regular Monday morning? A visit to practice, do the report. Check report. Check reports. Check reports. Uh -huh. Reports is calls. Uh, we say printing. Uh, organized route. Orga organized routes. Organized routes. Remember. Organized route. Routes. Routes. Organized routes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Route. What are the activities that you do every Monday morning, Carmen? Well, um, I help to my daughter to wake up every Monday morning. Okay. And I take my breakfast with my family too. Mm -hmm. So you to seven o'clock. I start with my virtual job too and check my emails and attend meetings or call with my providers too. Okay, very good, Carmen. Thank you so much. I say, Angie, what do you do every Monday morning? I, um, I check email and Purchase order. Purchase orders, okay. What else? Um I um, um I I have um llamada, o sea, hacer llamada. I make calls. I make calls. Um, look at look at the computer. I make Calls. I make I make calls. Uh, um, teacher. Yes. After that, may can I make a question? Yes, yes. Of course, absolutely. Okay, Angie. What else? One more. Um. I write in report. Okay, I write. I send, I send email. Okay, I send emails. Okay, very good. Thank you, Angie. What is your Thank question, you. Marvin? For example, what is the difference between I make calls or I do calls? When, when do you use? Make and when you use do. 
for, him, for example, when you say, I do the homework, okay, you can use the do as a verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this case, you are not going to say do calls. You are always going to say make calls. The difference between make is that you can use your hands to do the activity, right? I make calls, I uh, make the dinner, I make the breakfast, okay? but you cannot do the breakfast because do, usually we use the verb, with things that have to do with the brain. For example, you say, I do the homework because supposedly you have to use your brain to do the homework, right? So when you use, you make a call, usually when you perform the activity, you use the, the actual cell phone and you put it here, right? Or you say, I, I make calls, I make the breakfast, then you go to the kitchen and you use your hands to perform that. So in this case, the correct way is always going to be me, make calls. Mm -hmm. Good question, Carmen, thank you. Now, do we have this part clear? Yes, the activities that you do every Monday, every Monday morning? Yes, yes? Sure. okay, very good, let's continue. Remember, if you have a question, ask questions, if you have questions, ask questions. Now, we are going to use this, this uh, chart. We're going to use this box. This, one, this is on page 10. On page 10, we have vocabulary, right? We have vocabulary, we have number one, check my email, type a letter, write a report, attend a meeting, call clients, read a report, visit clients, organize meetings. We have eight activities here, okay? So with these activities that we have, right, we are going to do the next exercise. This is on page 10. It says, uh, Ricardo, can you please read the, this instruction, Gabriel? Okay, complete sentences below why below with one activities from the box in exercise four. Compare your answer with with uh, partners. Very good. So we're going to compare the answers here with a partner. We have number one to six, right? It says number one, I call clients every day. I use the company's phone. I, of course, and then we're going to see number two. What do you think is the answer for number two? Our secretary, then she sends them via email. Hmm, what do you think the answer is? Our secretary, then she sends them via email. What do you think the answer type, is? Type the, la the letter. <laughs> type a letter. Okay, is that the best one? Our secretary types a letter. Okay, remember, mm -hmm. remember in this case to use third person singular. Right? Types a letter, period, right? Our secretary types a letter, then she sends them via email, right? Yeah. Okay, now, we're going to complete the others. Let's see the others. Eso es lo que hemos puesto ahí. La número seis, no hay nada. Hay que escribirla. Right? We have to write number six. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to do that individually. Individually. ¿Se entiende que vamos a trabajar en estos momentos? Do we understand what we're doing? Yes? Okay. Very good. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. We're gonna have just a couple of minutes to complete that activity and tell me if you have a question. Si no quieren preguntar out loud, así a viva voz, pueden escribirlo en el chat. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sorry, type a letter. 
check my email to check. Nastalia, no me duele. Es que estoy poniendo la pantalla. Ah, ok. <risa> Tell me if you have questions. We have one more minute. A minute to mask. Tell me when you finish, please. Okay. Now, let's see here.
Ok, we are going to continue right now with the activity. Vamos a continuar con la actividad. We are going to continue with the activity. Right? Let's go ahead and see the following. Ok, let's see the following. Let's see the, the, the answers that we have. Ok. It says here number one, well, number two. Our secretary, then she sends them via email. Our secretary, what? What was the answer? ¿Cuál era la respuesta? What was the answer? ¿Cuál era la respuesta? Types a letter. Huh? Our secretary types, types, types a letter. A letter, okay. Types a letter. Now I'm gonna ask you something and pay attention to this. Look at the look at look at the answer. Our secretary types a letter. A letter is singular or plural. A letter one. is plural or singular. 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 Yes. One. Singular. singular. Yes. It's singular. Perfect. It's one. And then it says, then she sends them via email. Yes. Yes. Them. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Very good. It's plural. Does it match? Mm -hmm. Concuerda? Es coherente? Yes. Es coherente? Our student. Oh, no, our secretary type. Okay. No. It, does, it doesn't no. make sense. No. Es que dice envía, en sense. Es coherente con sense. Ajá. Es coherente con sense. Pero con dice sense. them. Dice them. Them es varios, es plural. Y a letter, nuestra secretaria escribe una, una, una carta. Our secretary types a letter. Then she sends them via email. Luego las envía. ¿Cómo que las va a enviar si solo escribió uno? Ajá. How can we fix this? Types. Let's make this plural. How can I make this plural? Uh, types. Many letters. Many letters. Many letters. Many letters. Many letters. Many, yes, many very letters. good. Many letters. I love when you use quantifiers. Very good. Our secretary types many letters. Right. Then she sends them via email. Now it makes sense. Ahora tiene sentido. Very good. Okay. Our secretary types many letters. Our secretary types two letters, three letters, a lot of letters. Right? Dos, tres, cuatro, muchas, muchísimas. Right? Then okay. she sends them via email. Very good. What about number three? Who has number three? Gabriel, do you have number three? I write the report twice a day. I? I, 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 guard, I write a report. I write a report twice a day. I use my laptop computer. Yes, it makes sense. Very good. Amilcar, please repeat with me. Amilcar, report. Amilcar, repeat. Repita conmigo, Amilcar, report. Yes. Repita, por favor. Report. I write a report to his no. days. Listen, repeat. Report. Report. Very good. Report. Very good. Esto es para todos. Report. Okay. Report. Report. Very good. Excellent. Number four. What do you have in number four? I have to. Carmen, what do you have? I have to attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Very good. Attend a meeting. 
every Monday at eight o'clock. Very good. What do you have on number five, Josue? Celia? Josue? Celia um, calls Clint the meeting every Monday at night. Eight. Celia calls clients. Okay. The meetings take place in the auditorium. Good. Does it match the ideas? Do they match? I'm not fine. Not for me. Not for you. Okay. Yeah. Organized meeting. Ah, uh, what? Meeting. What? What do you say, Jose? Organized meeting. Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia yeah. organized meeting. The meetings take place in the auditorium. That makes sense. Eso sí tiene sentido. Mira. Qué chivo. Very good. Yes. Also can be write a report. Mm, but look at the, the second part. Mira la segunda parte. Dice, the meetings okay. take place in the auditorium. Mm. She says, it. Celia writes reports. The meetings take mm -hmm. place in the auditorium. No, no, tiene, no hay coherencia That's de ideas. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, let's see. What do you, what do you write in number six? Maria, what do you write in number six? Sorry, teacher, uh, not the formulation. Okay, don't worry if you if you didn't formulate the answer, that's okay. Luis, but pay attention, pay attention, okay? Luis, what do you have in number six? Uh, I don't know, teacher, no, no sé cómo formularla. Okay. Uh, let's see, Emerson, what do you have in number six? Uh, number six. Carolina, check your email every day at seven o'clock. Okay, que galán que la Carolina de mierda. Okay, Carolina. Check your email. Your email or her email? Emerson her Javier. email. Her email, uh-huh. Every day. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, very good. Carolina checks her email every day at seven o'clock. Very good job. Right. She can check my email only if she's my assistant. Let me assistant to see. Right? She's going to check my email. Now, I want you to, do you have questions about this? Preguntas sobre eso? Questions? No. Okay. Hagamos entre todos la número seis. I want you to have number six. And I want you to go ahead and take a look at my computer. Give me, give me the phrases. Denme las frases que tienen ahí en el, en el, en la, en, in the box. You have phrases there in the box. What's, what are the phrases that you have? Ahí tienen las frases. Amilcar, give me one phrase. Hay ocho frases. Okay, check my email. Sure. Check email. Okay, what's the other? Teacher. Sí, Ricardo. Uh, this is Glenn. Como digo? This is Glenn. Visit friends. Glenn. Ah, clients. Okay, visit clients. Client. Clients. Very good, Ricardo. Very good. Visit clients. Excellent. Roxana, give me another phrase. I Type a letter. Type a letter. Okay. Very good. Give me another phrase, Ricardo Gabriel. Uh, call clients. Call clients, okay. Call clients. Angie, give me another phrase. Uh, 
And she report. read a report. Read a report. Okay. Another phrase, Mr. Palma. Uh, what is report? Yes. Write a report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read a report. Write a report. Carmen, another one. Organize meetings. Organize meetings. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to look at this. Okay? Everyone, please pay attention to what I'm going to do. Here in the activity, right, it's telling us to write one sentence. Now, The English sentence, basic English sentence. What are the elements of the basic English sentence, Ricardo Gabriel? What do, you have in the, what do you have in the sentence? What are the elements of the sentence? What do you have at the beginning? I... ¿Qué es lo primero que va en la oración? I am busy. Sujeto. No. Ok, sujeto. How do you say sujeto in English? Subject. 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 Then. Verb. 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 Then. Complement. Complement. Uy, una semana me los ha afectado. Ok, subject, verb, complement. This is the... The formula that we're going to use, guys, to create your sentences, okay? Subject, verb, complement. Vamos a atención acá. Subject, verb, complement. What are the subject pronouns that we have in English? Subject pronouns. I will write the first one. I. You. You. He. He, she, 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 we have subject pronouns, okay? Remember, we need subject, so we have subjects here. Then we need a verb, and then we need a complement, right? So what we're going to do, now that we have here the subject pronouns, and pay attention, we have the subject pronouns here, and we have the vocabulary, okay? Look at the subjects and the vocabulary. Subject, verb, complement, right? Now, I am going to write here one sentence, one example. I'm going to be easy. I, and then I need a verb. What is one verb in the vocabulary that I can use? Only the verb. Type. Type. Very good. I type. And then I have subject verb. What is the complement? Letter. A letter. Very good. I type a letter. Then I have subject verb and complement, right? I type a letter. I want to make this sentence here using the subject pronoun she. The same vocabulary. What do I need to do? Other types. She types a letter. Very good. And I'm going to do the same with the others, right? They type a letter. Right? So that's, these are examples for exercise for the sentence number six, right? In sentence number six, you can write, uh, Carmen writes a report every Monday. Right? Carmen writes a report every morning, for example. Right? Daniel uh, organized meetings. That's what we're going to do, right? Every time that someone is asking us to create a sentence, right? subject, verb, complement. 
Esos son los elementos que vamos a utilizar en la oración. Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Ahí. El subject, el verb y el complemento. Recuérdense, estamos en básico. Estamos en el módulo 2, así que vamos a escribir oraciones cortas. ¿Ok? Ya cuando nos vayamos adelantando, ya vamos a ir escribiendo un poquito más y utilizando más complemento en las oraciones. Right? So don't worry. No se preocupe. Questions about this? Preguntas acerca de esto. ¿Preguntas? Yes, esto es como el presente simple, ¿no? Yes, yeah, simple present. Simple present. Simple present, exactly. This is simple present, Ricardo Gabriel. That is totally right. Another question? Can I continue? Yes, okay. Let's go. I'm going to show you right now vocabulary that I want you to practice. Look at me. No se duerma, Santa Gladys. No se duerma. I want you to look at this. We're going to use uh, email expressions, okay? Useful email expressions. Okay? And pay attention to this. This is vocabulary that we're going to use for email expression. Okay, cuando estamos escribiendo correos electrónicos. Now, this is one phrase that we're going to use every time that we put a file into the email, right? It says, please find attach. Attachment is a computer file. Right. For example, my resume, photos from the conference, photos from a meeting, right, or your reports. Sometimes we need to send emails, right? And we're going to write this to our bosses. For example, please find, attach these week report. Okay. So, what is attachment? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a encontrar en el attachment? El attachment es un added computer file. Right? So, what is the attachment? Cuando usted envía, please find attach, cuando está escribiendo su correo electrónico, please find attach this week report. Su jefe va a o su jefe o a quien usted le envíe su correo, they are going to open the email and they are going to open the file, right? And they are going to access the report, right? For example, you're going to do that when you go to your email, right? I'm gonna access my email right now. Just give me one second. I'm gonna show you my email. Don't pay attention to what it says. Give me a moment. For example, we are going to write an email here, right? We're going to write an email to, to me, a me, me, right? And it says here, right, please find a touch. If I put here, please find a touch. And when we put here, is going to be the document you're going to see. Please find attach this, uh, my resume. You know what a resume is? Mi corre, mi, mi, mi hoja de vida. Please find attach my resume. What are you going to do? You go where it says, attach files, right here. Attach files, and you're going Ooh. to look for the file in the computer, right? So I have here where it says my CV, right? I go to my CV, I put it attach, right? And then adjunto. Attach means adjunto, very good. Attachment is my file. Is that clear? 
Adjuntar. Adjunto, no adjuntar. Adjunto, adjunto. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, is this part clear? ¿Se entiende qué estamos haciendo? We're writing an email right now. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Now, Remember, you can say, please find attach this week report. Please find attach my resume. ¿Qué otro documento envía? Yes, uh, Ricardo. La frase, please find attached, es una frase ya hecha. Yes. It is already made in English. Okay. That's the way you write it, and that's the way it's going to be forever. <laughs> yes. So, what what are the documents that you send to your bosses? Or what documents do you send through email? I send reports, student reports. I send scores. Report to sales. Please okay. find attached the no. sales report. The monthly sales report. Okay, the monthly sales report. Very good. Right? Look at this. This is the part that is going to change. Entendemos esta parte? Esta es una. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, Did you take a screenshot? Okay. Let's continue. Number two, the second phrase is, I have forwarded to you, or I am forwarding to you. Forward means resend an email. That happens when I receive an email, right? I received an email from Ricardo about the monthly report. And I am going, I am forwarding the email to Carmen, right? I received an email from Ricardo. I am forwarding this email to Carmen. Is that clear? So I'm, I'm receiving something, right? And then I'm sending the same document, the same email to Carmen because I want her to know. So forward, means resend an email. Resend an email. Okay. I have forwarded the document, the documents to you. I or you can say I am forwarding the documents to you. You can change the phrase documents. For example, I have forwarded the monthly sales report to you. I am forwarding the monthly sales reports to you. I have forwarded the weekly report, right? Now, these phrases, like Ricardo says, they are phrases that are already made. So we are going to use... Right? What? It's como reenviar, right? Yes. Yes, exactly. But you're going to put here, right, these phrases. So I'm going to put here on my email. Let me share here my email again. It says, please find a time, attach my resume. Also, I have forwarded uh, my students my students report reports to you. Okay, I have forwarded my students report to you. Okay, please find attach my resume. I also I have forwarded my students reports to you. I'm gonna put it in the same. We're going to put it here. Okay? Now, let's continue. Do you understand that part? 
¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? ¿Se entiende? Yes. Yes? Ok, let's yes. see. We're going to see one yes. more. One more. Mañana vamos a seguir. Yes? Eh, en, la, en, la, en la anterior. Uh -huh. En la página anterior. Yes, in this one. Yes, yes. Eh, las, dos, las dos frases indican lo mismo. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. No importa que vaya, que vaya de, escrita de una manera o que vaya escrita de la otra manera. Exacto. Las dos significan lo mismo. La, y las, las dos, dos, las dos. Sí, las dos significan lo mismo en, en corporate lingua o corporate speaking. Cuando hablamos de trabajo, las dos significan lo mismo. Nos estamos enviando un, un correo de trabajo, yes. las dos van a tener el significado. You're welcome, Ricardo. Now, let's continue Thank with you. you're welcome. Thank you. He says, I have CC, CC, or copy it. Look at this. Pay attention because these three, they have the same meaning. Okay? They mean copy it, right? I have CC, CC, and copy it. Uh, Gabriel on this email, for example. Right? I have, sorry. I have copied Carmen on this email to keep him on, in the loop. Okay? To keep him on the loop. So in this case, we're talking about the same person. And I want you to look at this, right? Like Ricardo uh, said, they mean the same thing, okay? Significa lo mismo. We're gonna put here. Copy it. Here. Or CC. They have the same information, okay? I have copied Gabriel on this email to keep him in the loop. I have CC'd Gabriel on this email to keep him in the loop. So what are we going to do in the email? I have my email open right here. So I'm gonna go here and look at this. It says CC. CC means copy. So I'm gonna look for Gabriel here, right? I don't have Gabriel. Yeah, I have Gabriel here. I have Gabriel. I copy Gabriel here. Right? And then he's going to find this email, right? ¿Por qué? Porque eso, lo que quiero que signifique esta frase, miren, esta, to keep him in the loop. To keep him in the loop, it means that I want that person to pay attention to my email. Okay? En el trabajo siempre usamos eso. Que siempre cuando estamos enviando un correo electrónico, O algo siempre queremos que alguien más esté atento a lo que estamos enviando. So we're going to send it and we're going to copy it somewhere. And these are the three ways you are going to write it. Copy it, CC it, or see it. Right? Is that part clear? ¿Se entiende esta parte? Okay. Yeah, Very good. We are going to stop here right now. Okay. Vamos a parar acá porque yo estoy aquí con las Sorry. I'm just going to call the attendance very quick. No se me vayan. Voy a pasar las estancias súper rápido. Espero que no se me vayan. Y vamos a seguir con esto mañana. Okay? We're going to continue with this tomorrow. Just let me call the attendance. For a moment. Uh, we have to access to the platform to, to do an exercise. Uh, yes, you can access the platform, but... We're going to discuss that tomorrow, okay? En el segundo día, ya que ya hemos agarrado calor. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let me call the attendance really quick. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Carmen Lisette Hernández Escobar. Present. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. 
Present. Daniela Mirkel Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present, teacher. Glenda Esmeral Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. Present. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. María Concepción Serón Jovel. Present, teacher. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Baringa Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yanira Menjibar Escobar. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present, teacher. Jennifer Abidaí López Scott. Okay, so that was all for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Have a beautiful night. Y mañana hablamos de la plataforma y de las tareas y de todo lo demás. Okay, have a beautiful night. Bye. 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 Bye.